Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I'm doing another donation unboxing video. This is actually in early January because I got a couple things in right after I recorded last month's donation unboxing video, and I didn't want to leave these in the boxes for another month before I got to open them. So I've got two items here. I'm gonna open them up and show you what they are. Uh, and if I get anything else in later in the month, I will do another segment to show you that stuff. But I wanted to get these things open right away. As I always say, you should never feel obligated to send anything to me. Um, I appreciate the donations that I get, but please don't send anything to me unless you're sure you really want to. And if you do, uh, the uh, P.O. box will be on your screen right now. That's where you can send stuff uh, if you are so inclined. Uh, but for now, uh, let's check these out. Um, I've already opened this one. Uh, so I know what's in it, and I've, I've cut this one open so I can uh, get into it better. Um, but this one here was sent to me by Chris Piers of the YouTube show Comic Tropes. So I'm going to go uh, open this first because I already know what's in it, uh, because he told me what it was going to be. Um, so I am happy to show you what Chris sent me. Uh, and that's actually the reason I'm wearing this t-shirt. Um, Chris sent me, pull it out carefully, Pull it out of the bubble wrap from Japan. A Japanese carded stalker figure. Look at that. Very nice card. Uh, yes, G.I. Joe was released in Japan. And uh, this right there, there, you know, Stalker is my favorite character. Um, and that's just really cool. Uh, check out that. Check out that file card. Um, it, that, this is amazing. Um, Chris was in Japan. He saw it. Uh, he thought of me, and uh, he knew Stalker was my favorite, so he got this for me. I don't usually get international figures, let alone carded international figures. So uh, th this is really cool. So uh, thank you to Chris, and thanks to everyone else who has sent international figures to me. That's uh, it's really amazing. I really probably would never see them or actually get to hold them in my hand if they weren't sent in by viewers. So um, Chris does the um, the YouTube show Comic Tropes. Uh, it's a really, really good YouTube show about comic books. Um, and it's one of my favorite shows. I've worked with Chris a few times. He's a really great guy. So if you haven't checked out Comic Tropes, you should give that a try. And thank you very much, Chris. And finally, this box is from Michael Johnson, a longtime supporter of the channel uh, from the UK. And uh, so he sent this to me, and it was meant to be for Christmas. Uh, but apparently it got held up a bit, uh, uh, maybe didn't make it through customs as fast as expected. So I didn't even get it until after New Year. So uh, I did get it. Uh, it did arrive safely, Michael. Um, he's given me a general idea of what's in here. Uh, so this is from the UK, and uh, I'm going to open it up. This one, I ha I've cut the box open, but I haven't looked inside to see exactly what it is. Uh, but if it is what I think it is, I think we get to do another taste test. Okay, let's check it out. We have some uh, paper packing material here, and uh, we have a letter. We have a letter. Let's see if uh, he was very thoughtful uh, to uh, print it in a, a large font, so I don't I don't need my glasses to read it. Uh, I said, I wanted to send you a, a present to say Merry Christmas to you and your family, and thank you for running a fantastic YouTube channel. Well, Merry Christmas to you, late Merry Christmas, uh, but Merry Christmas nonetheless. Um, he says, uh, the way you've instilled your personal values into your videos has helped uh, to foster a respectful and supportive community uniting G.I. Joe fans around the world. Thank you. I, I hope so. Um, a couple of viewers have sent you a chocolate and candy from their home country, so I thought you'd se I'd send you something from Britain. Uh, please find enclosed a selection of British sweets, uh, a few classics, and a few retro things that probably shouldn't be uh, allowed to survive past the 80s. Uh, best wishes for the new year, Michael Johnson. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, and uh, now... I'm, I'm taking a look at what's in here. Um, I'm, I'm going to try a sampling of these things, uh, but I can already tell, tell right now. Oh, look here. There's a crunchy 
uh, bar in here, and Susan loves these. Uh, I, I can't eat this. I have to give this to Susan. She, she'll she'll break my arms if I don't give this to her. Uh, so uh, let's tear into this and see what Michael sent. All right. Setting aside the crunchy bar for Susan, um, we have a uh, Terry's chocolate orange. Interesting. We have a Bounty. Uh, we have a a Yorkie. We have Wispa. I love the names on these. Twirl. Oh, what's that? Mini eggs. Oh, gold coins. Now we have gold coins. I always used to love these uh, as a kid. I wonder if these are any different from the gold coins that uh, we typically have here in the States. I, you know, you give a kid a gold coin and he feels rich, right? He feels like he's got a million bucks and you can eat it. I, it's, it's a curly whirly. <laughs> nice. Um, I am aware of some of these uh, uh, British uh, candies because I, I have watched a lot of British television. So I'm, I am aware of some of them. So it's kind of cool. And we've got a, uh, a Nestle Kit Kat. And we do have Kit Kat, and I'm curious to see if um, if this is any different from uh, good old red-blooded American Kit Kat. Uh, we've got Flake. That's perfect. You know, it's named after me. There you go, Flake. Um, we got uh, Wham. So Wham, uh, some kind of a candy inspired by George Michael. We have a Milky Bar. I'm going to have to ha take like just a nibble of these because Susan will want to try these. Uh, I cannot eat the whole thing uh, because she will be very mad at me. Cadbury Cream Egg and Rolo. It's always a big fan of Rolo. All right, so now I have a big pile of candy um, in front of this table here. And um, I'm just going to start tearing into these and... Uh, Give them a try and see what we think. All right, let's try a curly whirly. I've never, never had a curly whirly, and I've always been curious. Uh, all right, there we go. Ah, okay, yeah, we've got some caramel. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, that's not bad. It's like chocolate and caramel. Oh, that's good. That's good, I like that. All right, I've got a system here. I've got to uh, try them, then move them over here to save the rest for Susan so she can try some. Now I'm curious about these gold coins. Um, let's see if I can just get one out. This looks like a, oh wow, we are rich. That's one pound. We've got a one pound coin. Uh, and let's see, um, the chocolate quality um, in uh, American gold coins is not very good. So let's see. It's a little bit better, but it is still reminiscent of the gold coins that we have. But of course we've got um, British currency denominations. That's, that's cool. I, I like that. Th that just brings back a lot of memories. So what is uh, Terry's chocolate orange? What's that you suppose? Everybody watching from Britain is going to think I'm an idiot for not already knowing what this stuff is. Um, but uh, how would I know? We, we don't have this stuff here. Um, I have been to the UK and we did try a lot of British food while we were there. But, um, but we didn't try everything. Oh, this is segmented. Check that out. All right. So we've got, oh yeah, we've got sections that actually look like orange slices. So let's give this a try. It tastes exactly like what it says it is. Exactly. All right, that's cool. Susan's got to try that. Okay, um, let's try Cadbury mini eggs. Let's see here. You see where to open this? Yeah, here we go. Mini eggs, uh, no doubt laid by many Easter bunnies. That's good. That's good. 
of course, kind of evokes Easter, but that's tasty. The, the chocolate overall is, is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, okay. Another one I'm curious about is Flake. Is Flake flaky? Oh, it looks like, like it is. All right. Hang on. Oh, that's really interesting. Let's let's give this a shot. Mm. Oh, that's nothing like what I was expecting. It's tasty, but yeah, I, I can see why they call it flake. It's a little flaky. Uh, I dropped some. I'm gonna have to clean it up. Um, but that's all right. Let's uh, let's keep this going. This is exciting. This this happens every once in a while. Somebody sends me stuff from their home country, and we, we just ha we just have to try it. We just have to try it, and you have to endure it. You know, you have to sit through here uh, through this video, watching me try different candies, because once you start the video, there's no way to stop it. Uh, you just you're just stuck. So you might as well write it out. Might as well write it out. Uh, we'll get through this together. All right, this is a Wispa. Um, and uh, apparently I can win uh, VIP tickets to something. Um, so let's see what Wispa is like. Hmm. Kind of like a whipped chocolate in, in the center. But I'm not really thinking of an American candy that's exactly like that. It's just, it's just different. It's, it's lighter. But it's tasty. That's cool. Um, I, I really think Susan will dig that one too. Um, I'm so excited. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's try a twirl. Let's see. What's a twirl? A twirl. Let's see what a twirl is. It looks like. Oh, one of them broke. I was gonna say it looks like a Twix bar, but it it is not. One of them broke, and it's definitely not like a Twix. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's chocolate. I mean, you Brits really like your chocolate. Nothing wrong with that. But um, you, you're pretty intense on the chocolate. Um, I think uh, from the British people that uh, have come to the States and that I've, I've heard of who have tried American sweets, I think the general consensus is that, you know, the average American chocolate is not quite the same quality as uh, the chocolate you can get in Britain. Uh, so you guys, you guys really dig your chocolate. That's that's good. That's all right. So let's try. Let's uh, try. Let's try Wham. Uh, let's see. Let's try Wham. Let's see if this tastes like George Michael. Oh hey, th this one isn't chocolate. It looks like a a taffy. Uh, is pink. Let's try it. What flavor is that? Original. It's original flavor. I'm really glad I tried that one. It was kind of refreshing after all that chocolate to have a little break and have something that's kind of fruity flavored kind of like a fruit punch kind of flavor very nice very nice let's uh let's move on and try try the milky bar uh milk is our number one ingredient let's see. oh and it's white makes sense it's a milky bar so let's try this I'm not trying too much because Susan will want some. Mm. It's also a nice, more subtle flavor after all of the intense chocolate that I've just eaten in the last few minutes. Mm. That's that's nice. I haven't tried anything bad yet. Everything's been really good. Um, let's. I'm, I keep keep wanting to try the Yolo here. We do have um, Yolo. Uh, I keep wanting to try the Rolo here. Uh, we have Rolo in the in the states, 
So I have had these, but I just don't know if they're any different. Um, so let's try one. Should be pretty basic Rolo, kind of a rolled candy with uh, caramel in the center and chocolate. It's been a while since I've uh, had an American Rolo, but my re recollection, um, based on my recollection, I think these are softer, like the caramel seems softer than I remember Rolo being um, in, you know, just in the States and with what we can get. But I, I always like Rolo, that's always a favorite of mine. But speaking of another candy that we have in the States, we have a Kit Kat. Let's see if this is uh, any different from a, an American Kit Kat. Let's check it out. I don't want to eat too much. Susan will eat. Uh, prob yeah, she'll probably eat the rest of this, let's be honest. No, it is a little different. There's a subtle difference in the flavor that I think is a little different from our Kit Kat. But I like it better. I've never really been all that big a fan of Kit Kat. I mean, I'll eat them every once in a while, but um, but that's I don't know. I, can, I think I like that a little better. Right? It's not wildly different. I mean, the U.S. Kit Kat bar seems like it's, it's pretty close to that. There's something a little different, something subtle uh, that I like. Uh, so let's try. We'll save the Yorkie for last, and let's try the the Bounty. And there's a picture of a coconut on there. So I assume it has coconut. And I like coconut, so that's just fine. Not everybody likes coconut. I'm surprised how intensely some people dislike coconut. But I'm not one of those people. Pretty much exactly what you think it is. It's shaved coconut covered in chocolate. So, bounty. All right, last one. Oh, I forgot the egg. No, if I eat the egg, then I can't share it. Okay, I'm not gonna eat the egg. I'll, I'll let Susan have, I know Susan likes these, right? These Cadbury eggs. I know she likes those. I will, I will let her eat it. I don't wanna be selfish. But, um, so this will be the last one we try. Uh, the Yorkie. Yorkie. Uh, Yorkie original. Let's see how original it is. All right, it's my favorite part of the show. You know, I'm not gonna go into my own video comments and complain about this part of the show because I like this part of the show. All right, we've got, we've got sections here. I'm gonna just break off one and I'm going to eat it. And it's fitting that we finish with this because it is chocolate. It's really good. It's just, it's, it's chocolate, of course. So um, this is the perfect uh, thing to finish a, a, a taste test of British candy on is some, is some chocolate. So um, that's that was awesome. Thank you, Michael. And thank you for your long support of the show. You've supported the show for quite some time now. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, you've supported it in, in some very nice ways. And this is just... Now the latest really cool thing that you've done. So thank you very much for that. Uh, this means a lot to me. I'm sorry we couldn't open it up on, on Christmas or even New Year because it came too late. Not your fault. You know, it's uh, it's it's one of our mail services that uh, didn't get it here. But it's here now. Everything's still good. Everything's still delicious. Uh, but, and thank you, Michael. Uh, this was, was a lot of fun. Hey, it's Hoodie. I'm back again, and I'm going to finish the donation unboxing video for January 2020. Uh, this is the rest of the stuff that came in in January. I recorded that other segment earlier, and this is all the stuff that came in since then. Oh, wow! Uh, and once again, I want to tell you guys that you should never feel obligated to send something to me. You guys have been sending a lot, and in huge boxes. 
Um, and I appreciate it. I thank you for all of that, but I don't want anyone to ever feel like I'm asking you to send anything or that you're obligated to send something. I really am happy just having you in the audience and watching the videos. Uh, so thank you just for being here. Uh, for those who do want to take the additional step and donate uh, things to the channel, the P.O. Box will be on the screen now. Uh, but again, don't feel like you have to do that. Uh, if I get anything in the month of February, I'll do another video like this in March. But uh, if I don't get anything, then I won't do a video, and that'll be absolutely fine. I'll still be just as happy having you uh, just here and going on this journey with me and watching the videos. So there's a lot to go through here. I have already cut each of these boxes open. Uh, they are all already cut open, but I haven't dug in here to see what's in the boxes yet. Uh, so I'm going to start actually with this letter. Uh, and this letter looks like it is from a friend of ours that uh, has sent letters before from the UK. Oh, and it is a Christmas card. It is from Gary Watson. And Gary Watson sends a Christmas card, which I, I got a little after Christmas. Oh, it's upside down. Um, which I got a little after Christmas but still much appreciated thank you um best wishes uh for christmas and the new year to the hcc 788 family from gary thank you gary uh and gary includes a letter um and uh yeah this one is a short one so i'm going to put on the uh professor grandpa glasses and uh just uh read gary's letter here briefly um he says uh, I've recently uh, begun to write up my versions of the fact files for the unique Cobra figures that were only sold in Argentina and Brazil. That's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> I used information from the Yojo and Blood for the Baron websites, both very good websites. I have to admit, South America really got uh, a lot of mileage out of the Snake Eyes version 1 figure molds. Yes, that is true. And uh, to use them um, to create Cobra characters. The color scheme on the Cobra Mortal figure is bizarre. I don't know if you've seen the Cobra Mortal figure. You should Google that if you haven't seen it. Uh, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and here's to 2020. Uh, hopefully a year of G.I. Joe goodness. You are sincerely Gary. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, and as with all letters I receive, uh, I will be keeping this letter forever. I, I, I don't get rid of any of the correspondences that you guys send me and I will be keeping this Christmas card as well. Sorry I get a, a little after Christmas, uh, but uh, thank you Gary for sending that. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep with the envelopes first. This comes from uh, David Nunez uh, Tejarina. So David, thank you, and I've split this open. It has some weight to it, and I see, I, first of all, I see a letter in here, and hmm, I see an interesting object in there, too. Uh, this is on Rabbit Engineering Letterhead. Uh, the letter says, First apologies that this is not handwritten. Well, that's okay. Not a problem. My handwriting skills are such that I did not want you wondering why someone sent you a letter in Sumerian cuneiform. Uh, I don't know. I just put it in Google Translate, see if it can uh, come up with anything. Uh, I'm greatly enjoying your vehicle unboxing slash building videos. Uh, I have not built any G.I. Joe ve ve vehicles myself, but I have built many model aircraft, so it's something very familiar. However, seeing you use the X-Acto knife to cut parts from the sprues is, drives me nutty. It puts a lot of strain on the parts. It's bad for your tabletop and dangerous for your fingers. Um, we, the audience, spend a lot of time uh, staring at close-ups of your fingers, so I'd rather not have uh, them covered in scars and stitches. So I've instead... Uh hope, uh, hope you instead use this set of plastic nippers. Look at that. This is a tool that I can use to nip those little parts off of those uh, plastic frames. Um, hope you get to see more vehicle construction videos in the future. I hope so. If I can get some good ones that are, you know, uh, that I can assemble and at a reasonable price, I really enjoy doing those things. Uh, thanks uh, for all the love you put in your videos and keep up the great work. Uh, kind regards to Susan and the kids. Uh, P.S. I have a small YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Um, uh, rabbit. It's um, videos.rabbitengineering.com. 
uh, mostly on uh, 3D printing, DIY, and retro gaming, feel free to drop by. Well, I'll check that out. Thank you very much, Damon, David, and thank you for the useful tool. And let's go with this box next, since it's on my right and it's on top. And this is from SEO Toy Review, another YouTube channel uh, that I enjoy very much. Uh, and uh, Kevin from that channel I have met in person, a uh, really cool guy. I uh, have opened the box and I find a letter, so I shouldn't have taken my glasses off so quickly. Um, hey Hoodie, we made it to 2020, yes! Uh, looking forward to seeing what uh, this year has in store for your channel and G.I. Joe as a brand. I still remember coming out of the, the theater after seeing G.I. Joe Retaliation with my dad for my birthday. He looked at me and said there was kind of a lot of ninjas for an army movie. <laughs> yep. Um, so uh, included in this package is a mostly... Oh, wait, hold on. If I keep reading this, uh, I will give away what's in the box, and I want it to be a surprise. I'll read this to myself just for a moment. All right, I have finished reading the letter. Thank you very much, Kevin, and uh, this really cool uh, Harry Truman uh, quote on the top. Uh, that is cool. I will be keeping that letter, and because I read the letter, I know what's in the box. Do you want to see what's in the box? Do you want to see what's in the box? Why would you click on the video if you didn't want to see what's in the box? Uh, so I'm going to, it's well packed, well packed, very good job of packing it. Um, and let's see, we have, yes, 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 yes. We have, I'll, the, some of the parts are in the bottom, but uh, we have the Tiger Force Tiger Fish. They're the, the engines, I'll put those back on in a minute. Um, and uh, missile, um, but uh, yes, let me, uh, where's my, yeah. This is something that I did not have. Um, the Tiger Force Tiger Fish. Um, it, I, I've got a few holes in the Tiger Force collection. I, I have most of it now, uh, but there are a few odds and ends, including this, uh, that I didn't have yet. Um, so that obviously is the Devil Fish that has been recolored uh, in Tiger Force colors and those uh, very striking tiger stripes. Uh, so this this helps me. This helps fill a hole in the collection. It helps me getting cl get closer to another review. Um, and you know, SEO Toy Review, as I mentioned, has a YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, and many thanks uh, to you, Kevin. And I hope I can see you in person again soon. I almost forgot something in the bottom of the box. Uh, this is what you were talking about in the letter. I got you now. It is a Cobra bottle opener. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have uh, some uh, brewskis for Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, I'll open them up with this. That's really cool. I've never seen that. It's a, it's a Cobra bottle opener. Thank you, Kevin. This next one is from Portugal. This is a very international... Uh, donation month uh, this month and uh, I'm really curious this is kind of a heavy box I've cut it open on this end because looking at the box it seemed most logical to do it that way uh, so uh, I am just gonna open it up and see what we got from Portugal there is on this end a black bag and I can feel it has parts in it I, I, yeah I can feel parts in the black bag oh my gosh it's this is huge this is like a massive bag of stuff i'm going to open the bag and see what's in it in just a moment but there's more stuff in the box there's there's a t-shirt oh 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 and oh my and a bag of figure okay one thing at a time well first of all there's this gorgeous uh sky striker t-shirt that is amazing. Uh, awesome. And there's uh, a little baggie of action figures, and you're going to get a kick. I'll show you those in just, just a minute. Just a minute. There's more stuff. Oh, look at this. We have some snacks. We have some, uh, some snacks from Portugal, and, of course, that means we, we have to try them out. So this is, um, this is also a... Uh, a taste test video uh, that that's the other theme for this video international uh, trying snacks video uh, these are Filipinos they look like little little donuts 
Um, and there is more in the box. Hang on. Oh, there's a letter. I didn't see the letter. Hold on. And this, what is this? Oh, mini sticks. Uh, oh, it's more snacks. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, there's a letter. It says HCC 788 right there. Um, I, maybe I should have read the letter before opening it. Ah, okay. All right. This is really tiny type. Hold on one second. Uh, let me read through this. I'll read through this myself. Uh, really quickly and make sure it doesn't spoil any of the surprise of what's in here. Okay, um, I did read this letter and it doesn't really spoil what's in here, uh, but it does have some personal information which I'm not sure he would want me to read in a video. Uh, but uh, Christian, thank you for this and thank you for the, the earlier messages that you sent. Uh, and I hope things are going better for you and this is exciting. So uh, I'm gonna, just gonna keep digging in the box because we are, there's still one more thing that we We've got, we've got truffles. Uh, so I think that's it. That's that's a lot of stuff in this box. I'm going to move the box uh, because, um, and I'm going to move the the sweets aside um, because you've got to see you got to see what uh, figures he sent. So you, he sent this is. Um, I'm going to be careful here. Let me zoom in. The figures that he sent, there are two figures in here. One of them is Mutt. Um, sort of like um, a uh, Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt, but with different coloring. Uh, and Junkyard is in here too. We do have Junkyard. If I can get him out, there we go. There, there's Junkyard with a really interesting gray coloring. Um, as mentioned, I don't collect the European um, or um, international toys. I am interested in them, uh, but I don't actively collect them. Uh, and because of that, when people send uh, some international figures like this, it's really fascinating to me. I just like like looking at them and like seeing what the the differences are between the American releases, like the different like how the plastic feels. Um, just uh, any molding differences. I really dig that. So that's one figure that he sent. Uh, the other figure is it's out back. Uh, yep, it's out back with the Tony the Tiger uh, shirt and uh, the uh, Santa Claus uh, hair and beard. Uh, yeah, that's uh, this is a figure that I never actually thought I would have. This is not one that I had been pursuing, but a lot of American fans really dig this uh, Outback figure. So even though this wasn't one that I was after, this will this will have a special place in the collection. Um, this is one that uh, a lot of people are uh, like to get, uh, but amazing. Yeah, so he's got the, the tiger stripes on the back, that orange shirt, and then the front of his shirt is this like sort of cartoony, growly tiger thing, uh, which I think is hilarious and just fascinating that this is the direction they went uh, for Outback. Um, amazing, amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to look in this giant bag here for the first time. And I, I can feel there's a lot of parts in here, um, a lot of vehicle parts, and oh my, oh wow, um, that's an understatement. It's overflowing. Uh, we've got some figures here, some intact and some otherwise. There's oh oh, oh no. there's uh, there's a stalker. He's fine. He's fine. Um, and we've got like a uh, part for the snowcat. Uh, oh, that's a part for the Moray. Uh, that is a part for the Thunder Machine. And now this is really interesting to me too because I'm curious if any of these parts are significantly different from the American releases. That is a Sky Patrol parachute with the parachute still in it. The silver parachute. Uh, that is incredible. Um, obviously, I can't. I just want to swim in it, right? Obviously, I can't um, show every single item in here because it's so much. There's a, a zap, a straight arm zap. Um, there's a there's a, a targat, a targat, um, a hydro viper. There's General Hawk, Hawk version two. Um, I you can't see this because I haven't zoomed in. Let me. 
Let me get a little bit closer. Um, but I'm going to be spending probably hours uh, digging through. There's uh, there's um, Tomax and Zaymont, the the twins. Um, I will be spending. Oh, that is really cool. This um, for uh, for sneak peek. There's sneak peek. Um, I am going to spend probably hours going through this. And look, there's just a bag of parts. Uh, there could be some parts in here that that I can use and that are uh, I need. Oh man, this is just like I just want to oh, I just want to dive in and swim in it. We've got missiles. We've got 90s missiles. Um, we've got a, a, a gun for the All Striker. Um, we, we've got topside. Uh, we've got a, a leg for the Pogo. Um, we've got a disc launcher for, for Destro. We've got a missile for the Warthog. It's, there's just so much. This is for the, the Tiger uh, water moccasin that I can't think of right now. Oh, look at this. Look at this, and there is the man himself, Cobra Commander. Now this, I'm going to get my American release uh, Cobra Commander version 1.5 out and look very closely and see if there are any differences uh, between that and this one. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to go through this later. It's too much to go through right now, but this is exciting. Um, uh, thank you. I don't know what else to say, but, but my deepest thanks for this, and I'm just going to have a ton of fun just going through this. Okay, um, if, if, I, if I keep going through this, I'll be busy for hours. I'm setting this over here for right now, but I will be diving into that as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, now, the sweets, uh, I set those aside. Um, and uh, I guess, yeah, I, I will save some for Susan. These are for Susan, um, but she won't mind if I just take take a nibble of each one. Okay, let's uh, let's open this one first because it just happens to be the first one I took out of the box. Oh, they're yeah. Okay, they're donut shaped, but they look more like a cookie. Oh, good. Yeah. Mmm. That's a very good crunch. It's um it's like white chocolate on the outside and like a chocolate cookie on the inside. And that's fantastic. I may give some of these to Susan, maybe, I haven't decided. Um so let's now try this, which is um mini sticks. Let's see, this is the top. Open this up. Susan still get most of it. She, she, she won't mind. Just, I'm just gonna have one. I'm just gonna have one. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, just one. Uh, they look like uh, chocolate sticks. All right, let's see. Oh, chocolate and mint. Susan will definitely like that. She'll be very glad to know that I tested it out um, to, so that I could be sure she would like it. Chocolate and mint, she loves it. And those are, oh, that's a per, like perfect balance of chocolate and mint. So now let's try truffles. Truffles classic. Um, it's got a pull tab here on the top, so let's pull it. Oops. <laughs> All right, that, that didn't go too well. There we go. Um, and let's see, and we've got a, a sealed bag inside. Let's see. Uh, let's open the sealed bag. There we go. Um, and I'm going to take one out. It looks great. Sorry, dog's barking right now, but, oh, that's good. That's very rich. Yeah, now I'm, I'm done. I, I will, I will give Susan her share, but uh, that's fantastic. Uh, that, that, that is great.
Thank you, Christian, for uh, the gifts and for the experience. Uh, that, that was really awesome. So I now have two uh, huge boxes. One of them is from Brandon Knight, and Brandon always sends cool stuff. Uh, and we've got uh, one from Jay Luby. Jay Luby has sent stuff before, uh, and uh, he has sent some really cool stuff. I'm not sure which one to open first, uh, but, uh, you know, since it's on my right, um, I will go with Brandon. So uh, both of these boxes are massive. Um, so let's open this up and see what Brandon sent this time. And Brandon, I love you. I do. This is awesome. Uh, just, I, I don't want you to send more stuff than you're comfortable sending. And, uh, you've got, you sent a lot. Um, uh, but, but, and thank you. Uh, but just just so you know, I'm I'm really happy just having you around. You know, you've been a supporter and a friend of the show for a long time, uh, and you don't have to send anything. Um, the fact that you do is, is greatly appreciated by me. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, so we've got some stuff. I'm going to remove the packing material. Everything's always well packed. Oh, there's a letter. There's a letter. It's written in a, a large enough uh, that I don't need the gl my glasses to read it so thanks for that um it says what a great year uh to start uh 20 uh 2020 this year will be a challenge uh for the 90s but we have to do it absolutely um so many figures and vehicles to go through but don't worry i got your back inside this huge package are items to help you get through the 90s all right that now that is something i can appreciate some items can help to break take a break from the 90s also very important. Uh, so excited for Joe Fest 2020 and Cobra Convergence 5. Remember you have Project Cobra to turn to. Still can't believe we have 10,000 uh, 10, subscribers. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that's proof that uh, there are still many G.I. Joe fans out there. Uh, thanks for bringing us together and making G.I. Joe fun. I love to keep learning new things about G.I. Joe. The knowledge is endless. We'll take care uh, and keep up the good work. Let's one day have a drink together. Whiskey on the rocks. Until next time, remember GI only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Uh, and knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe, your pal Brandon Knight. Uh, thank you, sir. And yeah, we need to, um, especially if you're going to make it to Joe Fest uh, in Augusta, Georgia this year at the end of June. Uh, we got to hook up. We got to hang out. Uh, I would really be happy to do that. Um, so let's go through here. We've got some more packing material. More packing material. Um, I see some things that are intriguing in here. Uh, just kind of move this. Ah, okay, so we've got some plastic bags. Um, yeah, okay, hold on. I, I, th I thought I recognized this when I saw the corner of it poking out. Um, and it is Battle Action Force. Um, annual 1986. So I guess the, I, I believe this is a collection of the Battle Action Force uh, comics from the UK uh, for 1986. Um, and as with the European exclusive figures, this isn't something I actively collect, but I'm still interested in it. And it's always a privilege to have a chance to see it um, and actually hold it in my hand and look through it myself. Um, so, uh, this is cool. This is really cool. Thank you, Brandon. Um, and, uh, I'm going to move these out of the way. And, um, <laughs> and we've got more, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's helping out with the 90s. We've got, uh, let me zoom it in a little bit. Uh, we've got Iceberg version 2. The, uh, the kind of yellow iceberg. Um, we've got... Um, yeah, a Star Brigade, Star Brigade General Hawk. Yeah, there's the guy, General Hawk in his, uh, whatever they call that, the, the battle tech suit or, or whatever, the, 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 um, uh, the Robo Joe style suit. Uh, that's super 90s. We've got some accessories here, and, um, a lot of them are not G.I. Joe, uh, but I think they go with, or might go with some of the figures that are in here that are, are not G.I. Joe. So um, let's take a look. And we've got um, some figures that I believe are uh, from the core. They're not, well, I don't want to, uh, 
I don't want to send all the parts flying through here. But those look like uh, the core figures. This looks like a Remco, um, yeah, American Forces uh, Defender 1986 Remco. These Remco figures, I got a few when I was a kid, and I always liked them because they uh, had a, a nice, like, military look to them, and that's something that was uh, important to me. Uh, this, this guy's, it's Dojo, right? I always and forever forget this guy's name. Uh, but uh, Ninja Force Dojo, right? Um, and then more of the core, Whipsaw 1986. I think it's fascinating that uh, people are collecting the core because back in the day, I mean, these guys were like uh, fodder for customization. Um, and uh, at least my friends and I didn't play with them like out of the package as you know their own figures they would be like uh, backup guys uh, or side characters for G.I. Joe or we take them apart and customize them uh, put them together with you know the, some, some of the parts would fit together with G.I. Joe figures but I tell you I'm mean, looking at these and I remember I remember these figures I had them I had oh, maybe not all of them I don't think I had that guy um, Cyber, uh, yeah, Cyber Trooper, 1990. Definitely didn't have that guy, but these guys, I know I had these guys back in the day. Uh, there is a treasure trove of the core figures in here. Holy moly. Um, and I know that, um, Brandon would like for me to do a review of the core, and I would like to do a review of the core. Um, I just have to somehow find a way to fit it in the schedule, which is not as easy as you might think. Um, but, oh my gosh, uh, I certainly will have enough figures to do it. Well, there's Slipstream. Um, there's a G.I. Joe figure. I'm going op to open Slipstream here. Um, the Slipstream figure that I have is not in the best shape. Uh, so, and that's, that's better. Um, nice, nice Slipstream. I'll put them back in. Um, and there's a big box in here. I I'll show you in a second. Um, it, it's cool what's in the box, but you'll have to wait to see it. Oh my goodness. There, it's just, there's so many. I don't know, it's like the, the, the previous box. If I go through each and every one, we'll be here for hours. Um, that's more, uh, no, that's the core. Uh, or no, that's, that's Remco. Yeah. Um, there's so many. Um, yeah. Uh, you can't you can't see that unless I take it out. There's there's more Remco. Uh, really, that that would be a, an excellent pilot figure, Combat King, 1986. Um, we've got some cases which I can always use more of. Um, we've got more packing material. Oh yeah, we've got oh file cards. We got um, Duke and Heat Viper. Uh, we've got uh, the Talking Battle Commanders. It's talking about commanders, right? Uh, General Hawk, file card. Um, as you may know, um, file cards are important to me. I need the file cards in order to do the review. Oh, and there's there's Hawk right there, the guy that's a file card is for. And a lot of times, uh, sellers don't include the file card. And not not every collector cares about the file card. And I understand you don't have to. Uh, but for me, it's important to uh, to get the file card to include with the review. Um, so, all right. Finally, one more thing. I'm making sure. Yeah, one more thing is in the box. Are you ready to see the large the the large box in the larger box? Ready? Uh, he has sent the original action team, and look at that. It's the three and three quarter inch figures that are based on the old uh, Action Soldier uh, 1960s G.I. Joe. Includes the space capsule, uh, which 12-inch G.I. Joe had, um, but you got the Action Soldier, Action Marine, Action Sailor, Action Pilot, and Action Astronaut. Um, that is amazing, and they are it's all still sealed. It's all still, still sealed, and, like, it's got... I didn't know that, but it has like file cards for each one. Uh, exclusive commemorative edition. That is just, um, you know, I, I, um, 
Uh, the history of G.I. Joe is important to me. I care about it. Um, and this is a unique piece of history. Um, so uh, thank you for this, Brandon. And thank you for everything you do. Brandon has done a lot for this channel. Um, he's very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, um, let's get together. Uh, and let's have a drink. Okay, I had to put everything carefully back in the box because we still have one more really large box to go through. This is from Jay Luby. Uh, I know Jay has sent stuff before and thank you for that. Um, I have cut the tape on this one so I can open it up. Uh, okay, I'm, tr I'm trying to open it up. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is also full of stuff uh, and there is a letter. Uh, there is a letter. Here, I will need my glasses for this one. One moment. Um, let me read through this, make sure it doesn't give away any surprises or any personal information. Hold on one moment. Okay, I think I can read this one aloud. It, it, it tells generally what's in here, but uh, not, not specific. And it doesn't have too, person, too uh, much personal information in here. It says, uh, greetings hooded one, hello. I love the channel and the information you provide. You, sir, are truly G.I. Joe. It has been a year ago since I saw your first video. Now I have been hooked ever since. Thank you. Uh, enjoy uh, your hard work and fair grading of every figure re you review. That is the point, isn't it? Is to be fair. You know, that's, I think, the job of a reviewer. Even if you, whether you like something or dislike it, the job is always to be fair. Uh, a while back, I sent some figures from the 90s saying that I thought they were the most realistic looking figures. Oops, I was wrong. The early 90s figures uh, were better looking and more realistic than 92 to 94 figures. Since this is the year of the 90s, yep, everybody's gotten that message now. Um, I thought I would send some and also include something I thought you would, um, you would be better assembled by you, oh, would be better assembled by you instead of me. So something to assemble in here. Interesting, let's find out what it is. Um, Dr. Mindmender will probably hate me for it, but I hope you and your uh, fellow Joes will enjoy it. Uh, Justin Luby, the Killer Weezer, uh, Jock Hired Iron. Uh, thank you, Justin. Uh, and thank you for the letter. I'm keeping this with all of the other letters, and now I'm really curious what's in here. So let's take a look. Okay, so we've got right away one of these, uh, these power gliders. Uh, Cobra one. I don't remember who this goes to, uh, but I will look that up. These these can be a little bit hard to find. Uh, so thank you, thank you for that. Um, we've got oh yes, um, my my. Uh, we've got Law. What's this like version three? I want to say three or four, I don't know. I lose track. But the 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 Law that looks crazy and weird and different. It's got like. A totally different uniform, he's got like a mask and stuff. A complete departure from the earlier versions of Law. Um, so let's see, let's see what else we got, just kind of taking it off the top. I, I can see what's in here that he wants me to assemble. Uh, you guys are gonna get a kick out of this. Um, this is, uh, oh yeah, um, yeah, Snowstorm, right. I'm sorry, I had to read the file card because I was blanking at his name. But Snowstorm, and this is, you know, they had, when they switched to, like, the baseball card size file cards, uh, Snowstorm, uh, this, seriously, will actually be helpful. we got a lot of 90s stuff to go through this year. Um, and we've got some card in figures. Look at this. Uh, speaking of Snowstorm, there's Snowstorm uh, carded. Uh, my gosh. And here is uh, another snowstorm. Oh yeah, it's got both colorations. Yeah, so it's got the uh, whether you consider them different versions or variations. Uh, we've got snow. Uh, yeah, snowstorm here. Um, both sealed on the card. Amazing, amazing. Um, and uh, we're gonna keep going. We've got. Oh yes, that is. I, I think he's complete. I'll have to, to check, but yeah, Air Devil, Air Devil, and I think he's complete, and it's got his file card. These, these can be uh, kind of a pain to find. That is a huge help, huge help. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've got to remove some packing material here, and I think we're down to the uh, 
the large box inside the larger box. And uh, when you see it, you will understand that it is something that uh, potentially I will uh, assemble. And since I got these new nippers, uh, I can do a better job of it. So are you ready? Let me see if I can, hold on. Let me see if I can get it out. I may have to stand up, get this one. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. It is the brawler. And I've never seen the box for it. I've seen the toy, but I've never actually seen the box. The box is bigger than I thought it was. This thing is huge. I know the toy is big, but the box itself is massive. So, um, yeah, we, we have permission from Justin to open this guy and assemble it. So I think I have an obligation to do that. So at some point in the future, uh, this thing will be opened and assembled. Well, that's it, everyone. This one has been an endurance challenge, but uh, with my deepest gratitude to everyone, whether you s send anything to me or not, uh, if you're watching this video, I am really glad to have you here. Thank you very much. Um, I, it, this is overwhelming. Um, honestly, when I started this project, I wasn't sure if anyone would watch. Um, and when a few people started watching, I was pretty thrilled uh, about that. Um, and since then, the, the response has been more than I ever expected. Um, and I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Um, this channel is about my journey, my collecting journey, um, and my journey of discovery of G.I. Joe, kind of rediscovering it as an adult. And um, you guys have, have are going on this journey with me. Uh, and um, it's, I'm grateful to have you on the journey. Um, and uh, we're going to have some fun, you know. Try not to take it too seriously. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I think when you're talking about toys, I think having fun and having a good time is kind of the point. So we'll try to do that. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll build some strong friendships and build a strong community. So uh, thank you, everyone. Um, once again, I will put the address for the P.O. Box on the screen now. Um, if you would like to donate something, uh, that's where you would send it. Um, if uh, I get anything in the month of February, I'll do another one of these. If not, I won't, and it'll be fine. Uh, but thank you, everyone. Um, and I'll see you soon with another review. And until then, of course, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.